So I had a very simple message, and the message was that um, opportunity has shaped physiotherapy since since the Charter Society of Physiotherapy was founded in, in um, 1894, right up to the present day. Um, it's really shaped our practice, it's shaped how we are perceived and how we exist as a, as a profession. I think the what we often see is the collective change, and but opportunity is very much about individuals looking at um, the world differently or looking at a need and addressing it. So opportunity is about individuals and organisations. And I've also said really that we're, we're in a time of huge change in the world. We're in a time of lots of significant challenges, particularly on the social front, but also very different social changes. And so now is the time to be really, really alert to opportunities and to actually take them and run with them and see what they bring you. Well, I think one of the things when we're in the early part of our career is we're very focused on developing our clinical skills and of course that's really important and it allows us to um, understand the areas of physiotherapy that we might want to practice in. One of the ways that I certainly developed a huge amount was through volunteering with the professional organization and I think it's a, it's a hugely, it's a great benefit. It's a little different because you're not necessarily developing your clinical skills but you are developing all of these other skills, organisational skills, learning about influence, learning how committees work, learning how to chair them and it's a very safe environment to, to learn that and it also creates a whole pile of people that you'd meet, that you wouldn't necessarily meet in your clinical life uh, in different areas so it starts to create your network, it gives you a lot of the competencies that position you to take opportunities and run with them and in getting involved you never know what's going to actually appear. So one of the areas is definitely volunteering for the professional organization or volunteering for a charity you know, even in the clinical area that you're really interested in because I think the way you engage with different organizations really helps you shape how you can uh, take up leadership positions in the future. So that's certainly something. A lot of the time it's when we look backwards we see gosh those two or three things that I did really positioned me to take that opportunity up and I didn't know when I was taking that course or I was going to that meeting that I was going to meet the people that would present the opportunity to me so it is so, so when I was talking earlier I, I did say it's also about um, thinking a little bit differently opening ourselves up to different um, ways of doing things being a little bit more creative um, and one of the founders uh, in one of the one of the lecturers who gave the founders lecture um, some years ago gave some really interesting advice that I took at the time which was um, always accept an invitation that your immediate response um, was to say no to and do one thing every year that your friends will look at and say to you gosh I'm surprised you're doing that and those were two really really interesting pieces of advice because what he was what he was sort of saying was do something that gets you into a different place where you're exposed to other people or different ways of thinking and to me, those are the things then that when you look backwards, you think, gosh, I have that skill that I wouldn't necessarily have had if I hadn't done this.